Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Mindy. This channel will be about budgeting and crafting. Therefore, my name is the name of my channel is Mindy's Crafts and Cash. I'm retired and living on Social Security. I'm living my best life. I do diamond painting, card making, scrapbooking, coloring, glue booking, and collaging. Today, I'm going to make some holiday cards, some Christmas cards. I realized Christmas is just a week away and I do have some cards to either hand out or give out. Um, I would like to talk about this little crafting set I bought. I bought it on Amazon several years ago and I have used it many times and it is still available. And all you have to do is Google, uh, well, on Amazon, search truck stamp set and what's so much fun about this is that you can use it for all different holidays you stamp the truck and then there are all different things that you could put in for example over here there are uh, pumpkins and here are gifts which you could use for birthdays or any holiday here are hearts so i'll be using that for valentine's day and a couple of little extras Here's a Christmas tree. Here are flowers. Here are just regular barrels. A couple of little uh, boots here. A little extra pumpkin. Um, a fence. Uh, you could put it in here and then let the uh, embellishments come higher. So what I did was I stamped and then I cut out this one and I've stamped some others. Now it comes with a whole die set. With the die you put it on, you put the die around here and you tape it down and then you put, a put it through a machine and it cuts out. However, you can just use it as a stamp set if you don't have a die cutter. So on this tag I made, I just stamped the presents, stamped the truck, colored it in, and just put some dots in the background. And this would be a cute tag to put on, the, on a gift or even to put on the front of a card. This one, I did... <clears throat> with a blue background and I colored my truck in blue and I colored all the presents in shades of blue. I punched out some little snowflakes and then I just used some Nuvo crystal drops to make more snowflakes. You can use a little silver pen or you could use a white pen. Um, another kid I had had some Christmas uh, sayings so I stamped off some of these and I just cut it out a little bit wonky so I don't have to worry about cutting it out perfectly straight and I edged it a little bit and I put it on so today we're gonna make a card I'm gonna put this aside now I already stamped the truck and now I'm gonna cut out the truck and these little embellishments. So first I try to get it centered as good as, as well as I can. And this is for the tree, which I colored in. Uh, to back up a little bit, I stamped it in Memento ink, which is this, Memento. M-E-M-E-N-T-O, because I was going to color it in alcohol markers. And the alcohol uh, works really well on the memento. And it doesn't uh, get blurry. I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, sorry. Okay. Now, sorry, I had to take off my watch. Uh, now, for the... Hmm, cannot find that one. Okay, here we go. This is the one to put on the presents. And you want to put the sharp side down so it'll cut. And you try to center it as best as you can. And 
I'm going to use some of this tape. Let's tape it down. Now, there's many different kinds of die cutting machines. There's manual where you crank it yourself, which is what I'm going to be using now. And they also have electronics, which I do have, but they kind of make a bunch of noise. So I don't want to do that, use that right now and make more noise while I am filming. Okay, that looks pretty good. So this one goes right over here. And then you just put what you're cutting right in and you close it up. Make sure everything's just where you want it. And you just run it through like this. And here we go. This is from Diamond Press, the company that made this one. See, this one popped right out. If you need to trim it a little, you can. And if you don't have a die cutting machine, if you want, you can just cut them out by hand. That would just be called fussy cutting. I've done plenty of fussy cutting. And let's cut this one nicely. And these can be reused, these little pieces of tape. Get rid of this. And here we have the little pieces for this. Now, I love plaid. And when I found out I could have pink plaid, I put it in my car immediately. So I'm going, I rounded the corners, which I like to do. I just used my little machine here. And I'm just going to put this on here. And I can either use my Christmas tree or the presents that I colored in already. I think I will use the presents, I kind of like that. Then I just stamped off some of these sayings and I'm gonna cut one out. I think I'm just gonna cut out Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'm gonna just wonky it around. Again, I'm using wonky as a verb. And then I will just paste everything on. This will be a nice, simple card. Now the inside is also plaid because this is double-sided paper. So you can write something right on the plaid or you can tape in a little piece and then you can write on that, whatever you wanna write. So this would go right here, this would go right here. And then I happen to have, because I've been a crafter for years, a little punch that makes snowflakes. So I'm gonna add on some snowflakes. Paste all of that down. I'm using um, Art Glitter Glue, dries clear, lasts a really long time, and I think I've been using this a year already, just from this little bottle. I have, I bought the big bottle also, I haven't even had to refill it. Such a fine bit comes out. I did have to replace the pin, because the head of the pin fell off, so I had to buy a little pin kit because they have to be uh, special pins that don't rot in the glue. They have to be stainless steel. Okay, so I got that. I'm gonna trim a little bit off the tail there. I'm gonna glue this down first because I wanna make sure I get it in the right place. Get it all covered up. This... I 
Now I'm going to put this in. Okay, that's good. And now let's glue down. truck and now I'm going to outline a little bit of a black pen the Merry Christmas let's see if we can do it without messing it up if not I'll just cut another one it's a good thing about paper you could always Go to another one. Just stamp out another one. Okay. Not too bad. Just a little shaky, but not too bad. Now I'll take this down. And with this glitter glue, which you can buy on Amazon, you have to make sure that you don't leave the pin out too long or it obviously will dry up. Okay, so that's done. Now, I'm, I have a silver pen. I also have a white pen and I'm gonna make some more snowflakes. And here we go around. And I think I like it better in white, so I'm going to add some white. Now I can use this silver pen to, to use do the chrome on the truck, and that'll jazz it up a little bit. These were a gift from my friend Anne Marie. Thank you very much, Anne Marie. Appreciate it. And there we got that in there. Do a little bit up here. And then a little bit down here. And that jazzes it up a little bit. Oh, and we can go right around here. Around the window. Here we have a very cute little card. Now, I want to talk about the stamping. I was a terrible stamper. I really hated, hated, hated stamping. Because if you get a poor impression, then you've ruined your paper and you have to start all over. So once I found out about a stamping platform, then it changed my whole life. And the benefit, it changed my whole crafting life, let's say, or my stamping life. The benefit of a stamping platform is you put something on, you put on a piece of paper, you make sure the paper is in the right place, so you'll catch your whole image. You pick it up, it sticks to the door, and they have many different brands available. The important part is the paper never moves because if you get a bad impression the first time, you can re-stamp it. That's the whole point of this. So again, I'm gonna use the Memento ink because I'm going to stamp this, I'm going to color this with my alcohol markers. If I were using my water-based markers, then I could stamp it in my archival ink. So let's just press down and see what happens. See, I missed all the way up here. So now I'm gonna make sure that there's ink in that area. And make sure that I get it up there. Now I have a perfect impression to color. 
Had I not had a stamp platform at that point, I would have thrown it out because if I just had this on a stamp block, I never would have gotten it exactly in the same place a second time to fill this area in and I would have made a whole double image and I would have had to start all over. Um, different stamping platforms are available on Amazon. If you don't have one and you wanna start stamping or you're not happy with your stamping, then just take a look. Well, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you would consider subscribing and uh, liking this video. Next up will probably be a budgeting video. Have a wonderful day and happy, happy holidays.